Hey everybody, my name is Gabrielle Elise here at the 24th Annual Harold and Carol Punk Foundation Gala here with Rise and Shine. Please stay tuned as we interview some of today's honorees. It's the 2024 Harold and Carol Foundation event gala here at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Looking for cures for cancer and of course Rise and Shine is there to cover it all. So this is Matt Barnes with Rise and Shine. So I wanted to ask you, since you have uh, all the smoke productions and your shows coming up and your live pop-up shows, I wanted to ask you how your sports talents and the arts are connected in your mind. Uh, man, I think art, sports, music, they're all intertwined. And um, I think there's a lot of creative people in all those spaces. And I love the fact that the talent in those spaces are now the ones doing them the, the most of the speaking. I think for a long time we've had people telling our stories and although some of them have done a great job, I think the fans always want to hear from our mouths. So, you know, we've created a platform to do that, allowed other stars to come under our umbrella and do that, and we encourage everyone else to do the same. Since you say coming from your mouth, what would you, what is the biggest piece of advice that you are running by right now or maybe a really big theme in your life that you would want to share with, um, you know, younger peers of yours. This ain't love. We gotta love each other. Yeah, we're we're in a crazy time where disrespect is is cool and um, hate is 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 front and center. And you know, as you continue to get older, you just start understanding the importance and the delicacies of life, and that we're not all here forever. So, mm. and one thing I would say is 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 wilds I used to run and, and the stuff I used to do is just you know really just peace and love. How would you correlate your sports talents and the arts? Uh, sports talents and the arts, I think um, my last name is Artes. Right. So that's a perfect marriage. <laughs> and then I also think um, for my career being so colorful, that's a perfect canvas. And I also think, um, and then just the journey. Yes. You know, I think art has a lot of um, kind of similarities or uh, just a big relationship in my life. I'm more of a teacher than a coach, so I guess I teach in some ways so like a art teacher. Mm -hmm. you know, they, and it takes a of, lot of creativity to you know, teach. And to mold your players into what you want, so I guess I'm a little combination of like an art teacher and a little play, you know? Yeah, a little molding. Yeah, exactly. Great. So, since you do mold your players and, and you do teach them with creativity, what, what is a really big theme or uh, a really repeating piece of advice that you're giving your players right now? Just to do more, you know, so <laughs> when they get out there, when you think that you've done enough, do more. You know, it's just a, it's a mantra that I'm just trying to get them to embrace, you know, you do more. If everybody does more, we were eight and five last season. If everybody does more, do, does more I'm pretty sure we need get two more victories and need ten, you know, so it's just do more. That's just our mantra. Music is the art that has impacted me. I mean, from Stevie Wonder to Shaka to um, Minnie Riperton to, oh gosh, there's so many people. But music is the thing that has moved me, um, and it keeps me moving. Do you have any piece of advice to give about people who want to get into the music industry or people who are just like deeply oh. innate of creative? Like any any simple theme that you're living by right now or the best piece of advice that you've got? Uh, be ready for the door before it opens so that you don't have to hesitate. Yeah. So you can walk in with confidence. Yes, you do. Um, you know, I, I think um, I think sport is art, you know, in general. And uh, sometimes when you, um, you just see like a bunch of big athletic guys out there running around doing stuff, you think it's about athleticism. No, it's a skill and it's an art, you know. And, and um, you know, it's no different than the Picasso of the world. These guys are running certain routes, and they get, you know, it's just, it's, it, all of it's an art for them. And, and or, or a guy just amazing shit like Seth Curry. That's that's art. What he's doing out there is art. And there's just a lot of similarities with that. It's, uh, preach consistency, right? Because it's so easy to do something really good for a short period of time. Uh, but consistency will get you through those days you don't want to get up and do something. As long as you're doing something, you're consistent with it. Certain days don't have to be your biggest days or your worst days, but if you're consistent enough over time, you'll win. And that, that to me, has, has rang true in everything I've done. Uh, I think it's, you know, the creative side of us. You know, in baseball, you know, you're looking for certain pitches, you know, you're, you're reading the pitcher, so you're creating, you know, the situation that you want. You're like, okay, do I want to pitch outside? Am I going to, you know, be able to make that contact point there? Um, and I think that's the same thing with art, right? You're creating, you're trying to, you know, bring joy to the world, like everybody says, with your art. So we definitely look at sports as art. You see different, other, you know, you see like basketball, you see football, the different plays they run, the different things they can do. So I think it's just creative. Definitely, we're, we're all uh, very creative, you know. We might not do it on a canvas or 
or things like that. But um, as an athlete, I think there, it's an art form to whatever you do as an athlete, whatever sport it is you play, whether it's basketball, baseball, swimming, you name it. So uh, as a football player, uh, I'm, I'm an artist and I'm an entertainer, and I, and I understand that. And uh, I just go out there and let, uh, let the football field be my canvas. What kind of advice would you give uh, younger kids and teens about arts or if they want to go into sports and how they balance that with education? I, I think the big thing is you have to find what your passion is as a young kid, um, as a young person growing up. I found my passion at a very young age and I, and I, and I went after it. I went after it with everything I had, no matter what people told me, if I couldn't do it or I could or whatever. Uh, you try and find the positive people that are going to help take you along that, that journey and uh, try and eliminate the negativity. Um, education and art, I think. First of all, there's a purpose for each one of those. I mean, and if, if your heart compels you, well, first thing I would tell a, a younger person is go after what compels you. Yeah. And if that is art, then go for it. If that is sports, go for it. If that's business, go for it. Whatever it is, put your heart, soul, and passion into it because that's the difference maker. There's game changers on this planet and you can be one. You just have to believe in yourself to do it. Education, that's showing you're coachable. Yeah. That's just basically telling everybody, I can take a concept, a new concept, I can, I can understand it, I can regurgitate it, I can, and I'm, I'm, I'm pliable. That's what your employer wants to see. And so take it, take it with some um, ownership. Yeah. You know, own yeah. it. Yeah. Own that thing. Yeah. Be good. Yes. And if it's um, art, you draw. <laughs> Keep doing it. Like, for athletics, you got to do stuff 10,000 times before you're good. Right. Same thing with art. Don't give up after 100. Don't give up after 1,000. Yeah. You need, you got to get 10,000. Captain, your life. Um, I think the word that comes to mind is creativity and being able to express yourself. I mean, <laughs> art comes in all, all types of things. Well, art is a still imagery. And sometimes when you look at art, uh, you can see it come alive. Um, I'm a big Thomas Biggers art, uh, Ernie Barnes, and Ernie Barnes made a, uh, uh, a photo of our fast break, and you can see it in yeah. steel, and sometimes when I look at it long enough, it, it comes into reality, it comes yes. into motion, so yes. art, music, uh, dance, all have some type of, uh, you know, re relationship to sports. Right. Right. Well, Mr. Robert Griffin, I'm here with Rise and Shine Media. Rise and Shine! Rise and Shine! Yes. Thank you, thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you, how do you think um, arts and sports are correlated to each other? Oh, wow. Well, sports is art. Right? If you ever see someone like Steph Curry make a nice three-point shot okay. or a quarterback, so a nice pass across the middle in football between three defenders. We call it poetry in motion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very, very right, cool. Right. So that's yes. what I think. I think sports is art and it's an artistic expression. I see. And I enjoy it. Oh, what the? Oh, no! <laughs> hey, you guys are legends, so that's know, okay. Send a trend. Okay. Now we all have to change, is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. I wanted to ask you, how has art impacted your life? Art has always impacted my life because I had to, uh, I had to go all the way to the Hall of Fame. I mean, all the way to the Supreme Court to make a change yes. in NBA and NFL. Yes. So he couldn't afford to wear that suit because of me. Because without me, he would have left. He exactly. stayed in college and maybe got hurt. So exactly. Here we exactly. go. So you paved the way. Is, art has always been my world because you know for ten years and for ye uh, for well, fifteen years together, Iman and I was into just a lot of art. That's my former wife. So yes. we have a daughter and a granddaughter. Beautiful. So. Is there is there maybe a particular art or maybe like a tradition that you share with your former wife and your daughters now? Yeah, Ernie Burns were. You know, because he went to school with my brother. Ah, okay, okay, okay. He was only living color. Hey, also another legendary thing, yeah. Mr. Spencer Haywood. We have six-time world champion, Olympic gold medalist, Mr. Sugar Ray Leonard in the house. How are you feeling tonight? You know what? When I'm here and it's about kids, it's about people giving back, reciprocating. Yes. I'm in a good. I'm in a good place. We're in a good place today. Right off of that. 
what advice would you give younger kids, teens, and things like about that, um, about sports and, and balancing with education, and also if there's any time that art has correlated in sports that has touched you? Because I know that sports are definitely an art form, and watching you is an art form. Well, I wanted to be different, um, and I was not really athletically inclined. I was not an athlete when I first began boxing. That is so surprising. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm shy, non-confrontational. I mean, all these things, all these factors, but it was God-given to, to God make me. I mean, I've been, I've been a fighter for almost 50 years. Yes, sir. You know, so I come back and I use that. To help others, yes. To help other kids. Gorgeous. Well, once you achieve something, you got to keep going. Yeah. Right. So if you win a national championship, that's not the end of your life. You got you make a film, that's not the end of your life. You got to keep striving to do more and achieve more. That's what life's about. But more importantly, at this stage of my life, I want to help others. I want them to find their dream. I want to empower others yeah. to find their journey and to find their dreams. Be comfortable with yourself and with your own success and who you are. Find what you love, be passionate about it, and stay with it. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have some bumps in the road, but if you stay with it. Listen, I was turned down by ESPN three times before I produced the 30 for 30. Wow. It ended up being an Emmy Award winning film. Wow. I was turned down, but I stayed with it. I believed in it. You just got to stay the course and believe in yourself. Thank you so much, Mr. Derek. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. <laughs>